I'm Bernard Weiss. I'm professor of environmental medicine here at the University of Rochester School of Medicine and Dentistry. I work in a department that's devoted to studying the health effects of environmental chemicals. A pesticide is a chemical that is used for the chemical assassination of pests. They could be weeds or they could be organisms. They could be insects. They could be rodents. The Centers for Disease Control conducts a continuing assay of exposures in the U.S. population. They send around a big trailer and every year they test about 5,000 people representing the U.S. population. They take blood samples and urine samples and they administer questionnaires. They then do chemical analyses of the blood and urine. They find that all of us have pesticides in our tissues. No one escapes. We are all exposed. We're exposed not just to one, but to a multitude of environmental chemicals, including pesticides. We have no idea, believe me, of how these mixtures act. Pesticides, when they're tested for toxicity, are tested one at a time. That distorts the way we evaluate risk, and it's become a great concern. But a solution evades us. Here's a problem we really haven't yet solved. The Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, has worked for years on developing a system for assessing what is called developmental neurotoxicity. That is the toxic effects on brain development of exposure to environmental chemicals and especially pesticides. They haven't solved that problem yet. They haven't come out with a set of standards. So for a lot of these, we really are in the dark about their potential effects on the developing organism. I think it's possible to reduce your use of pesticides. I am not a gardener, so I can't give you that kind of advice. But the Environmental Protection Agency can. And if you go to their website, they will tell you the kinds of things you might do to reduce your dependence on pesticides. For example, keep the grass longer. And you could also adopt what's called integrated pest management. So you use a minimum of pesticides and control the way your lawn grows.